Hey Dan here, today I'm going to teach you how to add ratings to your WordPress blogs that will pull into Google SERPs. Okay, so I don't usually recommend using plugins for WordPress websites as they usually cause a bunch of problems on the site, but this one is actually really good, so I'm going to go ahead and recommend it. It's called Rate My Post WP Rating System by Blaz K, and basically what this allows you to do is set on your blog posts a rating system where people can actually go in and click on the star rating and it will save that and it's got schema markup that can get pulled into the SERPs and often does for certain types. So after you go ahead and download this, and I'll put the link in the description to this uh, plugin, you'll have, uh, when you install it on your site, you'll have the option here for rate my post. What you want to do is come in here and by default stars will be selected and you want to change where it says type of structured data for rich snippets. By default it will be without structured data. You want to change this to whatever's relevant for you. Now I see books pulling into the SERPs a lot, I see product pulling into the SERPs, um, local business doesn't pull in anymore, um, organization and recipe still pull in. Um, so you've got to find the one that's most relevant. Now I see other people that have blog posts similar to mine using book, but I'm actually using course because it seems more relevant. So this blog post that I recently wrote that I've got this on, this could definitely be a paid course um, if it wasn't a blog post because I break down absolutely everything here. I've seen courses worse than this, okay? So that's why I've gone for course. And what you want to do is basically change that there and then click on save at the bottom there. That's save settings. And then when you go into your post, if you've got it set up like this, so you can have it automatically pull into all of your pace, posts or pages. Uh, I didn't want to do that. I wanted full control over the whole thing. And so what I actually do is when I edit these, you'll see at the bottom here that I've got this short code, rate my post in square brackets. That's what actually pulls in that ratings at the bottom. So I'll pull that up so you can have a look at what it does. So it says, how useful was this post? Click on a star, a star to rate it. And you can you know, click on which one it is. When you do click it, it will say, thank you for rating this post. So you can only vote once. Now, one of the things that they have give you control over is when you scroll down the bottom here, you'll see it's got rate my post ratings. You can actually go in there and change that. So if you wanted to set that to 20,000 or so, um, you could, and you can also, you know, change your rating here it does give you the ability to do that so one of the other things that's worth me pointing out is I've actually changed the styling on this quite a bit so it won't look like this by default out of the box uh, if you did want it to look like this though you can obviously go into the code and just copy it if you do a search for on top agency and head over to the Magento SEO blog post the training post um, you'll see all the code in here uh, where is it right here so all of this stuff here so I've just basically changed the margins the background the overflow padding color the font size I've changed this title so it stands out more and then I actually had to do some bespoke work on these stars because I had some um, styling from the this list right here that was pulling in so I had to overwrite it um, so what I actually done is after I got this set up I took it into the structured data testing tool and as you can see I put that page into here and we got course come back with one warning um, so it's valid, but it has a warning and that's a provider now It's going to be very difficult to actually edit that However, I feel that that's safe and you know because it's in the plugin It's going to be almost impossible to edit, but that's actually good enough right there If it's just missing something that's usually okay uh, So then the next step after that was I pulled it into um, Google search console and had a look and as you can see we've got re review snippet right here And when we have a look inside it it pulls in the exact same data and it's got it right there So it works really really well um, definitely check it out. Check out the link in the description. It's a free plugin as well. I probably should have said that earlier on. It's completely free. There is a paid version, but um, I don't seem to need that, so I'm just going with the free version for now. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more, and I will see you in the next video.